Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody left me a message on one of my videos asking how you could rotate a, a small, thin rectangle around a circle like Texapath. Well, that's just duplicating and moving it over. So let's just go to uh, Workspace or Dockers, Transform or Transformation, depending on which one you want. And I've already measured it. I need 45... Uh, 8.61 times six copies, and it did that. Now let's take it and go a negative 8.61 times six copies, and it does it the opposite direction. Now, if that was what she was wanting, that will answer her question. Now, I don't know how many she wanted. She kind of said, you know, like text a path, but I don't know if it's just one or more. Or... Now, because you can't rotate it eight degrees because it, they're going to overlap and they're not going to be uh, there. You can see where they're touching. Now we can get rid of that uh, very easily and make a uh, contour of that line, which you could almost do that with a, a parallel dimension or not with the uh, polygon tool. And just make it that, but let's just play with this real quick. Let's uh, make a line, holding down the control button and hitting P, put it in the center of the page. I'm not quite, I like, I've started making lines instead of just a half a line. Go ahead and make a whole line and just bring it out and to keep hitting P till you get there. Then your center rotation is in the center. So let's rotate this guy four degrees and then control D and make a duplicate and rotate it a negative four degrees. And then take the smart fill tool and fill in this shape. And let's, if you ever nudge something lightly and you need to uh, nudge it back, you need to bundle, uh, nudge it back so it's in the same spot. Now let's take away all this stuff. Whoop, we want our circle. And we'll nudge that right back, but we'll go ahead and left click and I'm gonna make them in black this time. Now let's rotate it to 80 degrees times 45. That's a good lesson. You need to, when you made a new object, you need to rotate it from the center of your object. And now all the rectangles kind of fit together. Um, you could probably do the same thing with the polygon tool or, you know, really two circles and, and well, the polygon tool would make flat sides. But let's see if we can't get rid of the circle and see what it looks like. And I actually made 45 where we really just needed 44 because I can't remember if, it, if it, you already got a copy in which tool. But that's how I would do it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.